Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to introduce one solution for um, how to implement application load balancer um, for redirect HTTP to HTTPS. And because the classic load balancer is going to be retiring, retired very, very soon and also uh, the classic load balancer will not capable to, uh, I mean, it, it will be very difficult to redirect uh, HTTP traffic to HTTPS. Uh, once we look at the, um, the default uh, uh, classic load balancer, we will find that there is no uh, way to redirect those traffic to uh, HTTPS if we add the... Um, HTTPS, uh, for example, let me HTTPS and uh, HTTPS. So it will be um, using uh, internal, and uh, we want to using the uh, this certificate hmm. instance. It will be AD. So you want to um, apply it. So if you look at the carefully, but the um, uh, if the environment have been created by uh, uh, being being elastic, being stuck, uh, command line interface CLI. Most of the uh, environment will only have the classic load balancer rather than the application load balancer, the, the, the new version. So how to handle this situation if we still want to uh, the load balancer to make the other traffic to, to HTTPS. Uh, although we still can have some other solutions like we can uh, so resolve this issue by um, some redirect uh, um, um, uh, rules structure, rules uh, struct strategy in the application level, but this is not supposed not to be the best practice. And Amazon Cloud uh, Service Web Service has provided one uh, free uh, certificate for four hundred forty-three, so. Let's to handle this situation. If we, uh, you are also encountering this the same problem. If we look at this um, environment, because we have implemented the uh, classic load balancer, so we want to using this and see this should be. This should be the um, should be HTTPS. If we copy this address, and we want to add a new HTTPS, it's working, but it cannot be redirect all the um, HTTP um, HTTP traffic to HTTPS. So the only solution I also have. Um, looking at some other solutions like to um, migrate the classic load balancer to um, application load balancer but later i found out this is not possible to do it because uh, it will not associate with this uh, will not be replaced the classic load balancer so if you look at this um, this is the one uh, the classic type load balancer type is classic then we click it. It is one button to um, migrate the classic to application, but uh, uh, after doing this, uh, the traffic was still, still not uh, uh, go through the newest uh, application load balancer. So the only solution now became uh, let's see that. And uh, we click the application level. 
So now, the only solution is we create a new environment and uh, we select web service environment and uh, let's give a name env um, hyphen zero zero two. Um, let me do that. And uh, the platform uh, I'm using Python Flask, so that depends on um, which kind of program uh, platform uh, you are currently implemented. So all the the others should be uh, I'm using the because I already have one version, so I choose one maybe. Maybe I think the both should be should be okay. And note that there's no other any further requirements to for the configuration. Do not to uh, click more options. Otherwise, you probably will be uh, encountering another issue. So let's create the environment. <coughs> it's going to be taking a few minutes to um, uh, create the new environment. This is going to be the best uh, um, solution, I believe. And uh, I, I, I was trying multiple solutions like this. Um, the I migrate, and uh, also I tried to uh, uh, create a new application balancer, but there's no way to associate with current uh, environment. So. Um, create a new environment gonna be the only solution for now. Maybe later, Amazon Web Service probably will provide new solutions to replace the classic load balancer by application load balancer. So application load balancer is awesome. It can uh, um, do many. Um, very useful rules to, for example, it's not only forward the traffic, it can be uh, redirect us based on some, some, some rules. So this is really cool, cool stuff. So it's still, um, still pending. Let me see what is the progress for now. A few minutes still. Uh, so let's just be a little bit patient. Instance. So once we look at uh, um, the load balancer, so now this is active. Let's do this. Then associate. Um, I believe later there should be associated with one uh, balancer uh, because it's still pending still creating so let's be waiting and to see what uh, uh, is changed yeah so if we are using the classic uh, loader balancer there's no way to associate it with the uh, application but now if we create the new one it's gonna be uh, associate correctly with the target. So we see uh, this is must be the new uh, balancer we just have created by the new uh, environment. Uh, it's still um, undergoing. I see it will be uh, almost done. Yeah, instance. Deployment completed successfully. Okay, now the health health is okay. Uh, okay, I'm still waiting the the link for the link uh, URL. Okay, it's a, the URL is working. So once we have done the um, the new environment, uh, go configuration and uh, click the load balancer edit 
So now this name have been um, application load balancer. That is the one we we want to edit. So we want to add 443. And we want this. We want to say say uh, and view all the defaults for the edit. And we want to make the apply it immediately. <coughs> it's gonna be very very quick. And still updating. So now once we have adding 443 um, on for the load balancer, we will um, go to the load balancer here and find the one we have created this um, provision in still maybe and uh, and this number two. It will be very quick, I believe. Create a load balancer named uh, uh, AWS. Uh, remember the, the number. So say this. This one. Mm, copy to this. And the listeners. We have two listeners now already. Okay, now um, it's working. If we go um, click the link, we um, copy and uh, paste, and we change what we want to change the HTTPS. Yeah, because it's uh, um, not match the domain name, that's okay. See, uh, HTTPS is working now. So, um, now the next step we want to redirect all the traffic from uh, 80 uh, ports to 443 ports. So, what are we going to do to go the load balancer and find the one we have just created and click the load balancer name? And uh, we can see two um, uh, protocol for one for 443 and one for 80. So we want to change the 80. We click the 80, the point 80, and then we want to um, see, look at the rules, and uh, see all the rules is just uh, simply forward to the um, to the address. So we want to make the rules. We want to make some change for the rules. We want to edit, and edit right here. So this is for forward. So we don't want forward. We want to um, redirect. So we want to port 443 and we want to um, give it and we update it. Now we're almost done. If we look at the, um, we just want to HTTP. We want HTTP, not one. And it will be uh, immediately redirect to HTTPS. So once we have done that, uh, we almost have done all um, the requirements from uh, the traffic redirect from HTTP to HTTPS. So the last step we gonna be to um, so this is the uh, domain, the link. So we we will um, domain. We want to um, change this. Um, the, the, the DNS record, therefore the domain can be uh, directly, can be um, go to the, this one and we want to record it. Server domain, domain and we don't want to change anything. Uh, we click it and this is new one and we save it. And uh, let's see, okay, we also want to change this. 
Um, if you don't want the older one, if you want the new one, you can skip it. Okay, now we have done that. We almost have done everything. And uh, if we want to uh, using mono, this is my example uh, domain name. So we want to change it. Here we go. We have uh, um, immediately direct um, um, go to the HTTPS in the link. And if we want to change it to HTTP, let's see what happened. Still, it will be redirect to HTTPS. So this is the the all the um, the processes we will need to uh, make those how to handle if we are encountering the classic a lot of balancer. Be, but we still want to handle those uh, HTTP traffic to HTTPS. This gonna uh, as far as I believe, this is gonna be the the best. Uh, practice for this um, situation problem thank you for watching